Jesus gave us this upside down countercultural message about the kingdom of God when he said, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. In the Greek, the word blessed is the word makareos, which means more than happy. And so he's saying like, happy are those who mourn. It kind of raises a question like mourning what? Well, Jesus is most likely referring to a mourning or a grieving over our personal sinfulness and the brokenness in this world. And the good news is this, that this type of deep mourning or sorrow for our sinfulness, it doesn't drive us away from the Father, but it actually draws us to the Father. So don't worry if you're broken and hurting and grieving over your sinfulness. Worry if you're not. Consider today possibly just kneeling in repentance, crying out to your Father, and rise and go to Him. The good news is when you do, you will be comforted. You'll experience the peace of God that goes beyond our human ability to understand. I've always told myself that I may enjoy God on the mountaintops, but I get to know Him intimately in the valleys. If you find yourself in a valley of tears over your sinfulness, I'm praying you experience the goodness and presence of God, the source of all our comfort.